Um, today I'm going to be doing a room tour. Um, and I'm fairly excited because I haven't showed you guys my room where I was actually settled in. Like the last room tour I did, I had just moved in to my new home and I was not settled in really. I just kind of had a few pieces of furniture and a few things set up and it wasn't really me. So now it's pretty much at its peak of living, I guess, if that makes any sense. Basically, I feel like it's ready and I can show you guys. There's still a few things that I'm probably going to add and just a little um, heads up is that I always change my room around. Literally, just today, my bed was in the closet, everything else was over there and all that and it's just like, I have an obsession with changing my room around every 10 seconds. However, I feel like it's really nice now and I like it the way it is. Um, there's only probably one thing that I'm going to change um, when the time comes. Um, my brother may be moving into my room with me. I don't know yet. We're still kind of trying to figure that out. Um, but anyways, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Sorry that I look really ratchet today. I'm not trying. I'm just not trying. <laughs> um, but yeah, I hope you guys like it. And I'm completely 100% bragging about everything. No, I'm not. You guys, I'm not bragging. I love ya. If you guys have a room tour, leave it as a video response or leave a comment of what your room looks like. Anything, because I just love hearing or looking at your rooms. I think it's just awesome. I have an obsession with room tours myself. So, anyways, let's go ahead and get into the video. Okay, so this is the door to my bedroom, and this is from, in, like, I'm already in my room. Uh, let me just give you an overview of my room. There's my cat. And... Yeah, so let's start over here with my door. Um, I have this rack that holds a bunch of stuff. I have this leather coat. I have a bunch of tote bags. This is going to be for a future video that's coming up. Um, I have two other tote bags, and then I have a huge makeup bag back there. I have my little knit beanie, and I think that's all I have on here, to be honest. Oh, and I have my purse. So This is my light switch with a little random tack above it, and yeah, the light's on right now. I want to keep it that way. Um, okay, right here is my thermostat, which I don't use. I don't even think it works, to be honest. Um, and then right here I have this little whiteboard that I always put a quote quote on. And this one today says, "We're all pretty bizarre. Just some of us, or some of us are just better at hiding it. That's all." And that's from the Breakfast Club, and I put the date, so it is the ninth of wait. Is that? Oh, wait. it's not May, you guys. Wait, January, February, March, April. Yeah, you know what? That's supposed to be a six, so ignore the five. <laughs> obviously don't know what my months are so um okay so right here I have this wall of just stuff of basically quotes I guess um this says can will do it metaphor this is from the fault in our stars which is this here and then I have keep fighting and then I have pain demands be felt and then I have some infinity infinities are bigger than others and this is my kitty her name is Frankie and she is just a sweetheart aren't you babe yes she's my best friend um this huge piece of wood is a very special thing in my family. This is my, my grandma built this with her, her bare hands, so, um, there's nothing in here, um, but, yeah, I'm trying to figure out what I'm going to do with this. I think I'm going to put a TV on it eventually, someday, in some dimension of the world. Um, okay, so right here, there's a light switch right here that goes to the outdoor, and then I have this poster that says, oh, I'm sorry, it's like, blinding. Hey, you, got, you can see me in the poster. That's weird. Um, but it says Pink Floyd the wall because Pink Floyd is like my second life. I absolutely adore Pink Floyd. Um, right here I have this huge basket of stuff which I actually need to put in my closet. Um, it's just junk to be honest. <laughs> out here, this is the outdoor area. Um, I sometimes film back here. I want to film out here more often. I think it looks nice, but yeah. We just keep some junk and this really needs to be cleaned, but that's for another day. Um, I have this huge patio, by the way, and it just slides, and yeah. Um, okay, so right here is my nightstand. I'm going to sit down so I can show you guys a little better. Okay, so I have two drawers, so I'll go ahead and show you what's in the first one. So in this drawer, I have a composition book. I have some, oh, a magazine, it looks like, or no, no, that's not a magazine, just kidding. Um, well, that's part of a magazine, and then I have some construction paper, and then I have my portfolio from freshman year. And that's all that's in there. And in this drawer, I have an empty Febreze bottle, I have an empty envelope, I have an empty sock thing, I have a hand sanitizer, um, I have some construction paper with some quotes on it. I kind of want to hang these up, so I'm probably going to do that. They're a little bent though, so I don't know, I might not. Um, let's see, I have a 
magazine. I have a book, which should be on my bookshelf, but it's not. And then I just have a bunch of random junk. Honestly, this is my junk drawer. Um, I have a phone that doesn't work. Oh, I have a collar. I might use that for my cat. I should keep that up. Anyways, um, okay, so up here I have this huge, not huge, it's not even huge, what am I talking about? This little shelf, and it just has some stuff on it. So on this first bottom shelf, I have a hand sanitizer, I have a makeup sponge, I have uh, multiple makeup palettes, um, they're all from Urban Decay, and then my old iPod that I cracked, and hey, you can see the camera, hi guys! Um, and then on the second shelf, I have two magnets, I have a highlighter, I have some random, I think this is a thermometer. Yep, that's a thermometer. Um, I have a fortune cookie, which I want to hang on the wall. I just hang everything on the wall. Um, I have a clip, and I have a hair tie. And then up here, I just have some nail polishes um, that I don't really wear that much, but I kind of wear them. And then I have my EOS lip balm, which is my absolute favorite. Um, and then over here I have two books. I have My Sister's Keeper, and this is not a test, which this is probably by far the best book I've ever read in my life. It's so good. And then I have a perfume bottle, and then a body wash. And then over here I have an aspirin bottle, because I get headaches sometimes. So, this is good to have. Um, and then right here, down here, I have this huge thing of my sophomore year, basically. These are all just papers from my sophomore year. And, yeah, it's just a huge drunk, junk, junk thing? I, I really don't know what it is. It's just a big bag of junk. Um, and then I'm going to stand up now and show you my lights. Oh, first I have to show you this. It's a little heart that says, you are so perfect to me. And that's for all of you guys. You guys are perfect. Okay, so I have some lights that go up and, yeah, we'll get to that in a second. Um, but let's just walk over here. This is my bed. Um, I have a small bed, to be honest. It's really tiny. I think it's only, like, a single. It's really, really small. But it works, and I'm grateful to have my bed. And there goes my cat. Um, yeah, so moving on from there, I have a poster. And this is the Hunger Games poster. As you guys know, I'm a pretty big fan of the Hunger Games, so don't judge me. Um, and then right here I have a happy birthday sign from my old theater teacher. Um, I like hanging stuff up. You'll see in just a second. And, oh my gosh, who is this cutie? This is my mom when she was a little girl. Isn't she so cute? She's like the most adorable child in the world. I tell her every time, she's like, I wasn't cute. And I'm like, yes, you were. And, like, I feel like she looks like me when I was little. I don't know. Um, and then right here I have this note from Daisy Kitten 94 that I got when we did our swap. And I, it's a little ruined, I'm sorry. <laughs> it gets a little tattered, I'm, I'm really sorry. Um, but then up here I have this drawing that I made. It's kind of creepy and not very good. But it's more of a symbolic picture and it's called Speechless. It's about people that have trouble speaking up in dire times, needs, whatever. Um, I think it's an interesting piece if you really want to look at it a little bit so there you go um okay moving on this is a picture of my two aunts this is jennifer and this is stacy so if you guys are watching this shout out to you guys you guys are awesome um and then right here is my alice in wonderland um what are these called programs and i was in alice in wonderland and i decided to keep that um this is my tripod which i'm going to move um, okay, right here is this letter that I got from Ashley once I won a giveaway, and I decided to put a bunch of my nail polishes on. Actually, they're only simple colors except for this. This is my Vernus, um, clear coat, and I just keep them there. And if you guys want to pause and read the letter, go for it. Now is your opportunity. Up here is this huge collage that I made of just my family. Yes, there's baby pictures of me in there, so let's, let's just take a look. Um, okay, so right here is a picture of... My mom, that's me, RJ is so cute, I was such a weirdo. That's my brother and then that's my dad. And then right here is a picture of me and then my brother. I literally had the funkiest hair, it, it's, yeah. Um, that's my brother right here, that's my mom, that is my aunt, and that is my stepbrother, and that is my grandma. That is me when I was a baby. How cute was I? Not. I look like an Asian. No offense to Asians, but I'm not Asian, so why would I look Asian? Okay, moving on. Right here is a picture of my aunt, my stepbrother, my grandma, and my mother. And then... <laughs> uh, I'm sorry, Mom. I love you. But this is a picture of my mom in her high school years. <laughs> yeah. 
just let that sink in. Um, and then here's a picture of my brother. He was a cutie pie when he was little too. And that's all that's there. Oh, I forgot to show you the middle one, which is also my brother. I know, I live with him. Why do I have pictures of him? Anyways, moving on. Right here, this is a piece of broken necklace that I thought kind of looked pretty. And I didn't want to waste my broken necklace, so I hung it up. I have an addiction to hanging things up. I think I've kind of established that at this point. Right here is a picture of my mom when she was a baby. Oh my goodness, look how adorable. Can you just, can we just, can we just take a moment for this picture? My mom was the cutest baby in like the world, okay? Right here is my script from Alice in Wonderland and if we turn to this page you can see these were my lines. And yeah, I didn't have that many lines. I was Tweedledee. <laughs> And then up here I have a picture of my cousin Sarah when she was just a tot. And yeah, hi Sarah if you're watching this. Not this Sarah, that's my friend. I don't like you. <laughs> Anyways, this is a sign that says believe in your dreams. Um, yeah, I've had that for forever. Um, and then right here is a birthday card from my aunt and uncle from my 16th birthday. And yeah, it just says happy birthday basically. Okay, moving on. Right here, this is my desk. And... Let's just, I'm going to circle around so I can show you guys. Okay, so basically what I have is I have this clutch, but this has colored pencils in it. I have my house key. I have this, um, this was a Spanish project that I was doing. And then all I have is magazines, really. That's all I have. And then I have this random drumstick because I like to rock out. Um, right here I have a hand sanitizer. I have a glue just glue. <laughs> I have this cup filled with markers and pencils. And then I have two phones. This is my phone that it works but it doesn't work like I can't text and same goes for this one is that I can't text on it and yeah. It is 437 and yeah. Um, okay so I have this razor for cutting stuff up. I like to cut paper with it because I'm too cool to use scissors. I mean scissors are too mainstream. Um, and then I have this lovely picture that says the breakfast club on it and it's this beautiful girl and it says kill me. <laughs> I suck at drawing. I'm so sorry. Oh my gosh. Um, okay. Right here is my eye helmet. and it's now 438. And then I have my iPod, which I was listening to Pink Floyd because I'm a Pink Floyd fanatic. Um, so yeah, that's just my eye helmet, which actually belongs over there on my nightstand, but I haven't moved it yet, so it's just right here. Um, I have a cup because I was drinking root beer. And then here is my lampy lamp, and this is not on at the moment. I think the light bulb's actually dead. And then yeah, my whole desk is just littered in graffiti, basically, so enjoy. This is all nail polish, by the way, and this, there's like no way to get it off. Um, so yeah, that is my desk. Oh, and then over here I have um, my backpack. And then plugged in, I just have my charger and my iHome. Moving on over here. Okay, so first off, let me show you my closet. Oh, I forgot to show you my poster. That's Liam Hensworth and that's Josh Hutcherson. Um, and then right here is my closet. And I actually put a little sign here that says closet. I wanted to put it on my closet, but the tack would not go in. Um, I'm not going to show you what's in my closet right now just because I'm going to have a separate video for that. Which will be coming up fairly soon. <laughs> okay, so right here is my bookshelf. And basically, I just have books. And Clue. And then I have some other junk. So, um, just take a look at my books really quickly. I have The Hunger Games. Oh, I also have some DVDs right here. I have The Hunger Games. I have some zombie books. Blah, blah, blah. And I just love reading, as you guys can see. Um, so, yeah. That's all that's there. And then I have this little basket filled with junk. And I have a calculator. Um, and then right up here, I have my little mini fridge that I actually bought for my brother. But he didn't really want it. So, I took it. <laughs> and all that's in here right now is a water. So, that's all that's in there. Um, every time when I was little, I always wanted, ah, close, I always wanted a mini fridge, so now I have one. <laughs> and then right here I have this little drum thing that has Christmas lights in it. Um, and then right here I have a scarf that's hanging up, which leads us to my dresser. Um, let's start up here, I guess. So this, so what's up here is this, um, thing that was from Christmas, um, I just store a bunch of junk in here. I'm not going to show you just because it's literally junk. Um, and then here I have a salted caramel candle, which I want to burn right now. Um, and then I have a dry erase marker for my whiteboard. Stay. And then I have a perfume. I have another perfume. Then I have hand sanitizers and a lotion. And this is not all of my perfumes and stuff. This is just a little bit. Right here I have two bracelets. This one's from Charming Charlie and this one is from Forever 21. Um, and then this is my hoarder makeup collection. I literally have too much makeup and it's not okay. 
Anyways, if you guys want to see a makeup collection, just click the annotation that should be right here. I'm going to put it right here. Um, right here I have two fake candles, and then I have two real candles, and I have rings, and then I have my sims, and then I have my ID for school. Um, right here I have an Olay bottle of uh, face stuff, face moisturizer I think. Um, and then right here I have this mineral foundation, and then I have my Mono Act 1 and Act 2 face washes, and then I have a tripod down here and my naked palette. And then moving into my drawers, in this first drawer I just have a sports bra and then a dress, and then I have... Um, a makeup bag, and then I have a necklace, and my bracelet. And in the second drawer, I have some shoes, I have a CD, and I have some bobby pins, this iPod thing, and then a pencil sharpener. It's very random, I know. And then in this third drawer, there is nothing. In this fourth drawer, I just have my running shoes, and then my Converse, and then I think that's a flashcard. Um, and then in this last drawer, I have my mom's computer because she's grounded and she's not allowed on her computer right now. <laughs> just kidding. Um, so yeah, that's basically it. So just one more overview of my room. Uh, okay guys, I hope you enjoyed. Um, yeah, uh, that's my room. Uh, it's fairly me, <laughs> I guess. Uh, it's not like one of those typical beauty guru rooms. I tried to make it more of my style. Plus, I can't paint in the walls, <laughs> so I kind of feel like that plays a big part in the way it looks. They're just white and plain, and I don't like them. I want to paint my room blue, but I'm just not allowed. Um, but yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed. Hopefully, you got some inspiration out of my room. And I love you guys, and I will see you in my next video. Bye! Mwah.